Hello, and welcome to Yes TV, your Evergreen Schools Television, a show that keeps you informed on the programs, activities, and academic achievements of your Evergreen Schools. On today's show, we'll learn about a grant-funded, hands-on project that teaches students about local history through archaeology. We'll hear about a unique Excel project that benefits 8th graders and 6th graders alike. We'll hear news from around the district, but first, I'd like to introduce you to an Evergreen High School student who was recently selected as a member of the prestigious U.S. Army All-American Marching Band. It is my privilege and honor to announce that Calvin Gorman has been selected as a 2010 U.S. Army All-American Musician. Calvin embodies the many characteristics of an Army strong soldier, and we are proud to have him on our team. Calvin, on behalf of the Secretary and Chief of Staff of the United States Army, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the U.S. Army All-American Class of 2010. Calvin Gorman, a senior at Evergreen High School, has succeeded where many young, talented musicians have not. It's an incredible event. It's 97 students are selected and, and thousands of students auditioned for this. It's the one honor event in the country that actually is a, a true honor. Um, all expenses are paid for the students, their uniform, their instruments, um, they're treated like royalty. There hasn't been a musician from Oregon or Washington State until now. Uh, I just want to say it's a huge honor to be selected for such a thing. Uh, uh, I thank the Army for sponsoring such an event, uh, um, for musicians across the nation to be able to come together for a marching band. Uh, I want to thank my parents for funding the first instrument that I got to the uh, last one I've used and uh, providing motivation throughout uh, my musical experience. Um, I want to thank Mr. Kuski and Mr. O for um, being awesome band directors and helping make this uh, experience possible. The U.S. Army All-American Marching Band is an elite group of musicians, the cream of the crop selected from high schools across the United States. High school musicians have to get the nod from a prestigious selection committee, consisting of the head director and show coordinator, the National Association for Music Education, Drum Corps International, and Sportslink. We haven't had members selected from the Seattle School District or the Spokane or, or Portland. It does definitely say that, that music is valued and emphasized here in Evergreen. And so I think that, that speaks a lot for the program. Uh, and certainly to send Calvin as a representative is, is an honor to, to the, the entire district. I think it's a feather in the cap of our school district and Evergreen uh, High School Marching Band to have a student accepted into something of this prestige. Calvin's a section leader of the trombones here at Evergreen and uh, he's great leadership skills and uh, he plays really well. He uh, take, takes private lessons and works really hard to improve his skills whenever he can. Calvin's a, a 4.0 student, um, constantly striving to be better and better. He's an Eagle Scout and uh, it, it, he just excels in every area of his life. If he commits to something, he's going to get it done and he's going to do it really well. I've been with concert band and jazz band all four years of high school um, and in middle school. Um, I've also taken private lessons for probably, I'd say, close to five or six years. The Evergreen School District has long recognized that through music and the arts, students like Calvin can tap into their greatest potential. In this district for, um, for many years, as long as I can remember, you know, has had um, the foresight and uh, um, has made the arts, music in particular, a real priority and supported kids in their music education. Music majors are the number one major, have the highest rate of acceptance in the medical school. And at, at 70 percent of the CEOs in the Fortune 500 companies all were part of their high school music programs. Um, 
that's not an accident. It's, it's how the arts train our minds to work. When they're in a marching rehearsal for three hours on a Wednesday afternoon, they're spending three hours problem solving. Uh, trust me, I, I've been out there uh, enough times to know that uh, if, if you're not thinking, you're going to wind up in the wrong place at the wrong time on the wrong foot. You're not going to get the feeling of that you know that you did your very best unless you give your very best at each and every rehearsal. And in turn, that also makes the band a lot better. So, you know, as long as you're giving 100%, you're going to get 100% back. It's the education of the whole child that's important, not just reading, not just math, not just writing. Those are all important. But those without um, teaching students the, the value of creativity, the value of hard work, the value of um, thinking outside the box, which is what the arts do. Sometimes I ask myself, why do I do this? Um, I just, I enjoy it, you know, at practice, it's not like I, I'm thinking, okay, when do I get home? I want to be there, so that's why I put the energy into it. And come January, Calvin will be putting all of his energy into the U.S. Army All-American Bowl halftime show in San Antonio, Texas. He's going to get to San Antonio in a, in a week of, of short rehearsals, basically. He's going to have to learn an entire marching band show. Now, it takes us at Evergreen in the high school level, it takes about three months to perfect a show. He's going to have one week. So that's part of the selection process, is selecting students that can do it in a quick time. So they have to be good students, they have to be conscientious, and Calvin is absolutely that type of student here. They're the best in their band, and, and now they're going to be playing alongside people that are also the best in their band. Uh, many of these students want to go on to study, I like Calvin, want to go on and study music in college, and I think this will give them a taste of, wow, this is really exceptional level of playing. The national spotlight shines on Calvin and the U.S. Army's All-American Marching Band, January 9th on NBC.